you agree that as we go on in life and we uh, gain confidence in things, that that is sometimes where we begin to let our guard down? I want you to think back to when you first began to ride a bicycle without training wheels. I think Cameron was telling me that was, what, two, three days ago for him. Uh, you, uh, you're, you're nervous, right? Morgan, you have training wheels on your bicycle still? Okay. Uh, Morgan, you remember when you, when you first started riding, maybe dad was holding the seat and he'd let go. And of course you weren't pedaling. So you would just fall over, right? And then you had to learn how to turn on a bicycle. When you want to take a left, you do not turn like this because you know, you're going to die, right? Um, you've got to learn to lean, which is just unnatural for us to lean when our feet are not on the ground. Uh, so you learn to lean. You learn how to take a curve. You do not put the brakes on while leaning into a curve. Er, boom, because you'll just fall over. The bicycle, the dirt bike, the motorcycle naturally wants to stand itself upright. That is why one can ride a bicycle without using any hands. You're not doing that the very first day the training wheels are coming off, probably. Okay? Uh, if uh, you have a, a mom like my daughters have, then you're probably the giant football helmet, the elbow pads, shoulder pads, wrist guards, gloves, knee pads, snow boots, hip pads, and then bubble wrap with duct tape. It looks like you're about to go land on the moon, right? So that nothing happens to you. I can remember uh, one summer, I was relatively young, but, but at an age where uh, in the summer I had a babysitter. I would go to a neighbor's house and uh, she was watching her own children, of course, and then myself and, and her nephew, who was my really good friend at the time. But we were also old enough to where she could let us just go run throughout the neighborhood, ride on our bicycles all day, and she knew that we would be okay. Different times that I lived in, certainly. Remember this particular day, we, uh, they lived just a couple houses down from us. We're walk riding our bikes past my house, and I see that my dad is home for lunch. We stop in, say hi to him, and as we leave, dad said those infamous words. I don't know why parents do this. Hey, be careful. Don't, don't say that. You just set me up, right, to do something really dumb just so that you as a parent could say, didn't I tell you to be careful? And you know, as a parent, I do the same thing. Uh, Riley will fall down. Didn't I tell you not to fall down? Well, apparently gravity did not listen to me when I told Riley not to fall down, okay? So, yeah, sure thing, Dad. So we make our way down, and I remember our neighborhood, for the longest time, our neighborhood was not paved, but it was prepped to be paved. It felt like you were riding on the moon. Uh, the, the road was covered in this fine, fine gravel, the, the size of BBs, okay, uh, before the asphalt comes in and so forth. We're making our way down, and, and we come and join in a road in our neighborhood, and, and we look up, and there's this one street ended in a cul-de-sac, and it it was almost straight vertical. I mean, it was a steep hill. And we said, hey, let's, let's go up there and pedal down as fast as we can and see if we can make this turn right here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. And so my buddy, he did it. And then me, my bike, Top Gun, all right, this, this bike. I love this bike. It was not a 10-speed, but I could out ride anyone in the neighborhood on my old school bike and I get up there and I'm pedaling. I can still picture the, the, the handlebars, the, the red grips here. I'd ride that bike so much. Those, those handlebar grips had that, that ring right here on the inside. I'd get blisters right here on my uh, thumbs just from riding that bike so much. I'm standing up, going downhill, pedaling as fast as I can and just before I approached that turn, I believe it was my left foot slipped off the pedal. And now the pedal has come around and caught the back of my leg. And that's all I remember. <laughs> I, I can remember like kind of coming to, I don't think I ever lost consciousness, but 
I remember chaos and anarchy following what happened at anarchy. That didn't even make sense. Just chaos and bloodshed. Uh, my friend came over. Dude, are you dead? Uh, yes. I got to my feet. I remember I was wearing these these slip-on shoes, and I, I wasn't wearing socks. And I can just remember to this day walking back to my house, and every time I took a step, uh, I would see, like, blood, like, kind of splash out of my shoe, okay? And I just thought, yeah, that's probably not normal. And got to my house. My dad was about to leave to go back out for work. He comes out, and he's, what happened to you? He calls my mom up. He's like, hey, your, your son just fell out of an airplane. And I can hear my mom, what? <laughs> what do you mean? They were picking gravel out of my elbows, ear. Okay, it was, it was bad. That doesn't happen the first day you ride your, your, your bicycle, does it? No. You're in the garage. You pedal once. You're like, I'm done. You are safe, however. As we grow confident in life, we let our guard down, and that is often when we will find ourselves in trouble. 